It's October, which means it's time to make some spooky logos. Whichever this lands on, we're gonna spookify it. Okay, what are we gonna get? Apple, okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is the poison apple from Snow White. So I wanna add a bunch of like green goo and then make it look like there's a skull face in there. And she does have it on a string, so I'm thinking I might add in like a little string. So I down the opacity and I want the drips to be very exaggerated and cartoony since it's based off of Snow White. Okay, I'm loving how that's looking. Now I'm gonna draw in the little eye folds and the nose folds for the shape of the skull. And I need to pick a green and go ahead and color it in. I'm gonna go ahead and restore the Apple logo to its original color and add on that rope string. I do wanna add in some low lights and highlights just to make those drips look really 3D. That's looking nice and glossy. Last thing I wanna do is add in some red eyes. And here is the final result. I think this one is a perfect one to start off with. The poison apple just works so perfectly for this one and a great one to jump back into the Halloween spirit. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign, okay? Sprite, okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking with this one is we rename it to say Fright, and then something about the shape is just giving me vampire mouth. So I'm just gonna transform the whole outside first and make the background be like a dark purple. And now I'm just gonna start drawing in those teeth and then do something similar on the bottom row. And then of course, color them all in. Okay, I removed the Sprite logo, and then now I want to make a circle in the back just to kind of look like the back of the throat, and then add in that little... I don't know what that's even called. Last thing before I add the new font back in there, I want to make it look like some of these teeth are dripping with blood. I found this really fun font. I'm going to type out Sprite, and I made it the color of like a very pale person, so it looks like the vampire sucked his blood. And all that's left to do is put it in, and here's the final result. Honestly, this one turned out so cute and fun, but also scary at the same time. I love the idea of it being a mouth. I don't know, I just love how this one turned out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. It's spooky month, so whatever logo this filter lands on, we're gonna give it a spooky redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? <gasps> Twitch, okay, I think I have an idea, let's go. Okay, so with this name, it's pretty obvious we have to call it Witch. Witch! And then for this little guy, I think I wanna make him look like a cartoony version of a witch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select the T and get rid of it. Okay, so obviously we need to add on a witch's hat. And I do wanna make it kind of angly just because the whole rest of the logo is very square and add on a little strap and buckle. That's looking so cute. I do wanna keep the face simple, but I'm thinking we add on some, I don't know, like mean evil eyebrows. And I also wanna add a big nose. I also wanna add some tiny hairs to her chin. The colors are already giving Halloween, but lastly, I just wanna make the witch part be green and here is the final result. This is one of those ones that just turned out so adorable. I don't know if we can even call it spooky at this point, but I love how it looks. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign, okay? Red Bull, okay. Okay, so my idea is to rename it Red Ghoul. I'm hoping we can make it look like ghost bulls. Um, if not, we'll just have to make these two little ghosts. And then instead of the circle in the middle, I wanna make that a moon. Okay, so the first step is gonna be to kind of outline the bulls, but then I need to make the bottom part look like almost like a ghost, like a sheet ghost. <laughs> okay, so here's how that little ghost bowl came out. I'm gonna color him red and just duplicate it and move it over. Now I'm gonna draw a circle in the middle to represent the moon. I'm just gonna add some shadows in there as well as some craters. I found this really cool font, so I'm gonna type out red ghoul and here is the final result. I am really happy with how these two little red ghost bulls turned out. I think the logo is so cute and also a little bit spooky. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whatever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Goldfish, ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I think I wanna do is work on the goldfish. So I'm gonna need to isolate that guy. Okay, now what I wanna do is add on like it 
a sheet as if it's like a ghost. I'm gonna fill that in. Now I'm gonna take the airbrush pin and I'm just gonna add some shadows around the edges so that it looks like three-dimensional. I wanna go in with this pen tool and make it look folded. Now I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop. I wanna change this thing around it so that it looks almost like green or blue, like a ghost, kind of like on like Danny Phantom or something like that. Yes. I'm going to erase all the text in here and I'm gonna replace it in this horror font called Chiller. Lastly, I'm gonna replace the eye with this tiny little ghost fish. Here's the final result. The ghost fish is so cute and I love the font choice. I love the name too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Oh my gosh, Google. Okay, I've got an idea, let's go. Okay, looking at this logo, I think what we have to do is make it say gobble. Okay, I went ahead and duplicated it. Now I'm gonna grab the green and I'm gonna make it be yellow. Then I'm gonna select it again and move it over to make this like a B. And I'm gonna erase this G and just duplicate that B again. And finally pull up that L from the other logo. And then I'm gonna change up the colors a little bit to give it a little bit more of a festive feel. Then I'm gonna make some feather shapes with the pen tool to act as feathers and also as the little waddle below his neck. Lastly, I just need to add in two little eyes and here is the final result. This is definitely one of the cutest little dudes I've ever made. I love all the colors and how it still looks like Google. And I think they might actually could do something like this on their website. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Starbucks. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, I think what I wanna do first is make the whole logo red. And it could be fun to make like half of her face cut open with like some brains going on in there. I also wanna take away this mouth and make something that looks like a little more monstery. Oh my gosh. Okay, now what if instead of this tail, I make it look like it's been like chopped off and there's some kind of like bone coming out of it. And then what if we go another step further and make it look like she only has one arm? I erased the star and now I'm thinking we do like an upside down pentagram. Lastly, I just wanna add some kind of like gory details throughout. And here is the final result. This is definitely spooky. And I think honestly, Starbucks should do something like this every year for different holidays. It just makes sense. This is definitely one of my favorite redesigns I've ever done. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick a random logo and whatever it lands on, we're gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? <sighs> Red Lobster, okay, wait. I have an idea. Dread lobster maybe? See, so yeah, I'm thinking we make this little lobster in Procreate look like it's like a skeleton of a lobster. And then I can change some of the words down here to make it be a little more spooky. So what I'm gonna do is just go over every part of this lobster with this kind of bone color. Now I'm just gonna outline each of them in black. Okay, I like how that's looking so far, but now I'm just gonna go in and add some kind of low lights in there. And I'm also gonna add in some highlights as well. Lastly, I just wanna add in some little like other lines just to kind of give the effect of like the bone is aged and been like cracking a little bit. I added in the words and here's the final result. I love this font I found for Dread Lobster. And if you remember the original says fresh fish, live lobster, so I changed it to this. This is definitely one of my favorite Halloween redesigns, but let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? <sighs> Minecraft. Okay, wait. I have been racking my brain for what to call this, but I came up with mine corn. I, I don't know, I just think it might look cool to make each one of these pieces look like corn. So let's get going. Okay, first and foremost, what I'm gonna have to do is make this R look like an O. So I'm just gonna do that with the pen tool and grab the R and put it over here. Now I'm just gonna color it so they look like the color of corn. I think I need to bring it into Procreate to add in some little husk. Basically, I'm just gonna add in little like leaves so that it looks like the corn is sitting inside of the husk. Okay, it's looking really good, but my last idea is to make the eye look like a corn cob. 
And here is the final result. I don't know that I love the name Mine Corn per se, but I think this one turned out really cute. It's definitely unique and it has my style in it, which I'm happy about. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Spotify! Okay, wait, I have an idea. Okay, so the first thing I think I wanna do is turn it orange because I'm thinking we turned this into a pumpkin. So I'm gonna go in with this ink bleed pen and I'm just gonna go around it and try to kind of make it look like where the stem would be. And then we're gonna need this to go kind of like this for the bottom. Okay, here's what I have so far. I'm liking how it looks. I'm gonna add in a stem up here and add in some little vines coming off of it. I'm thinking it'd be cool to make these look like they're cut out from the pumpkin. So I'm gonna go behind it and color it all in black. Then I'm gonna add in these little lines back here that make it look like it's part of the pumpkin. And here is the final result. I think Spotify I could do something like this for every holiday of the year. Like I'm thinking like an ornament for Christmas, things like that. Even though their logo doesn't have words on it, I think in my head I want to call this one Spookify. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. You already know the drill. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm going to give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we going to get? <sighs> Nike. Okay, this one's going to be hard. Okay, I have racked my brain for so long trying to come up with some kind of autumn or Thanksgiving pun with this one. And I think what I landed on is Turk. E, but we just spell it K-E, just like Nike. Okay, first and foremost, let's make it a color. I'm going with this yellow. And I found this font generator online, and if you type in what you want to say, it generates it in the Nike font. So I'm just gonna place that right here. And using the pen tool, I just want to draw out the idea of this little wattle, as they call it. Perfect. And lastly, I'm gonna add in a couple eyes and a nostril, and here is the final result. Love, love, love this one. I think the name is so clever, and honestly, just the beak being the swoosh, 10 out of 10. Also, it's so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Duncan. Okay, wait, I have some thoughts here. Okay, my thought is to change the D to a P so it says pumpkin. Okay, I've got that. And now I think I'm just gonna make each one of these attempt to look like a pumpkin. So like adding on little details that just make it look like it's got the kind of like sectioned out parts of a pumpkin and then maybe even like a little stem on each of them. Now I'm gonna do that last final one. It kind of maybe looks like a bell pepper, but whatever. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go through and add highlights to every single letter. And here is the final result. This one is definitely not one of the spookiest ones I've ever done, but I think it looks so cute. I really love how this one came out. It is interesting to me. Duncan doesn't even call their pumpkin spice pumpkin, but whatever. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this lands on, I'm going to give it a creepy Halloween redesign. Okay, what are we going to get? Pizza Hut. Okay, let's go. Okay, to get started, I want to erase all the words on it. My idea is to make this logo look like it is wearing a sheet, like it dressed up as a ghost. So I went ahead and turned the background off so I can see what I'm working with. I'm just going to go in and make it look like almost like a sheet is draped over top of it. Just gonna go in and outline each side. And this is what we're working with. Now I wanna go in there and erase two holes for the eyes and add on some outlines in the black and an inner shadow like that. I want this to say Pizza Haunt and maybe a little bit of a creepier font. So I found this monster pack on Adobe Fonts and I think I wanna use this one called Mr. Darcy. All right, I'm gonna type that out. Here's the final result. I love this little ghost dude, and I think the font really ties it all together. I really love how it made it look almost like a character and a logo, but let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? 
In BC. Okay, let's go. Okay, my idea for this one is to call it in BT and the T stands for turkey. And I wanna make this peacock into a turkey. So I'm thinking we change up the colors, maybe add a little, what's that neck thing called? I'll have to look it up. And change this to a T. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna change this red to a brown and then I'm gonna select the other colors and make these kind of like in a alternating pattern. I'm gonna erase the C. All right, let's find a font that works. Oh, that one kind of works. Okay, now time to add on the wattle, as I just looked it up, it's called. So I went ahead and added on turkey and turned that red, and now I'm just gonna add on the wattle here using the pen tool, and here is the final result. I love how this one turned out. I think the turkey concept is so cute. The colors, everything. Definitely one of my favorite already getting into fall. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna give that logo a Halloween spooky redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Ben and Jerry's. Okay, wait, let's think. Ben and Scary's. Okay, let's go. Okay, my idea is to eventually change the font to say Ben and Scary's, but first and foremost, we need to deal with this ice cream cone. I'm gonna carefully go over the entire thing in red so that it looks like the ice cream cone is made of something kind of like blood or guts or something like that. Okay, now that I've got that done, I wanna add on some details like there's body parts in it. So I'm thinking of adding like a bone, maybe some like eyeballs. Here is everything I added into it. We've got a tooth, some toenails, some bones. Now I just need to start filling each one in with some color. Okay, here's what that looks like all colored in. Now I'm just gonna add some highlights on here and some low lights, change the font and here is the final result. I love how this one turned out. I think I found a perfect font to type out Ben and Scaries, and that ice cream cone just looks horrifying, but still has the playfulness of the original logo. Let me know what you think of my redesign in the comments, and let me know if you have any other ideas for spooky redesigns. The second logo is Burger King's, AKA Booger King. I took out the existing font in the Burger King logo and typed that out in one called Monster Mash. I wanted to add a like dripping green goo to the burger. So I did that in Illustrator. I made the font purple, and then the final detail was I added this to like a black stroke around the font, and here's the final result. I think this one gave like a very 90s like Nickelodeon look and I love it. I did Wendy's which I renamed to Witchies. I took out the font in Photoshop from Wendy's and I replaced it with this one called Mr. Darcy that I think kind of looks Salem witchy. And for Wendy I decided to make her skin green, her hair black, and the bows red to kind of give an Elphaba vibe. I drew a witch hat with the pen tool and here's the final result. I love how this one came out. It looks kind of like retro scary. Up next I did Pokemon which I renamed Spookymon. My idea was to make the O's in Spooky be the eyeballs of the ghost Pokemon Gengar. I gave everything a purple stroke and then decided to actually add his ears in there. I made all the rest of the letters orange and here's the final result. I'm actually blown away by how much this one looks like it could be real. Up next we have Fruit of the Loom, AKA Fruit of the Gloom. But this one I went in on Procreate and decided to add a knife so it looked like it was going into the apple. I made that kind of in the same style of the Fruit of the Loom logo, added a pool of blood to the bottom and finally a snake. I changed the words to be a different font called Escoffier and here's the final result. First of all, I just can't get over how fun the name is and second of all, I love how it looks. And last but not least, we have Hardy's, AKA Heldies. For this, I also brought it into Procreate, changed the star black and outlined it in red to make it look like a pentagram. Then I kind of rearranged how his face looked to make him look angry, put it back into Photoshop and replaced the font with this chiller font in red. And here's the final result. This one is probably like the scariest looking one of all, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Hostess, which we renamed Ghost. My idea was this for to make the ring around hostess be kind of like a Danny Phantom ghost portal. So I started by taking out the word hostess. I made the ring green and I made the little heart white because I wanted to make him a ghost later. I made the ring look like it was glowing and added in that portal in the middle there. Lastly, I typed out ghostess in the font Mouchamp and I made the coloring and the drop shadows and everything look like the original. And here's the final result. I love just the whole concept behind this one and I think it looks really good. Up next we have White Claw, aka Fright Claw. For this one I wanted to give it a hand drawn effect to look similar to the wave they had in it already, but my idea was to make it look kind of like a witch's hand with like long nail claws. So I drew the hand on Procreate and lastly I changed the birds to be little bats. Then in Illustrator I tried to mimic the circular part of the font, but changed it to a drippy horror font. And here's the final result. I love the name Fright Claw and Blood Seltzer. And honestly, I couldn't be happier with this one. Last we have Wells Fargo, which I renamed Hell's Fargo. 
I knew I wanted to make the horse look kind of like a skeleton horse, so I did that in Procreate. At first I thought I wanted to make the little guy a uh, devil, but eventually my idea morphed into making this the Headless Horseman. Once I was finally done with that, I brought it into Photoshop. I changed the yellow bar to be a black bar just to make it look a little more scary. I typed it out in this font called Taranum, and here's the final result. I love the little Headless Horseman guy, but I actually think this one's kind of cute. Subway, eat fresh, or as I'm going to call it, Subway, eat flesh. My idea for this one was to make the letters in Subway look like they were made of skin. So I drew that out in Procreate, and I thought it'd be creepy to make the arrows look like they were detached. I colored the whole thing different skin tones, then I brought it into Photoshop and used the font Chiller to write out Eat Flesh, and here's the final result. This one turned out much creepier than I thought it would, and I love the little arrows. 